U.S. left weapons brought to market by Afghanistan arms dealer. Pistols, grenades, assault rifles, camouflage combat jackets, and light machine guns left behind by U.S. personnel have all found their way into the market. The Taliban's takeover of Afghanistan has thrown the country into chaos and economic hardship, but arms trader Khan Mohammed is making the most of it. His business, which is sandwiched between a pharmacy and a general store in the Panjway district of southern Kandahar province, the Taliban's spiritual birthplace, is brimming with new stock. Muhammad displayed his wares, which included Smith & Wesson pistols and ammo belts made in the United States, by hanging camouflage combat jackets and bandoliers on the walls. The front glass display was lined with more weapons, grenades, walkie-talkies, and bullet jars. Many weapon owners have decided they don't need their weapons now that the war is over, according to Muhammad. People who have had guns at home for years bring us their weapons, he said. Muhammad had more than simply weapons, he also had accessories. The roof was covered in white Taliban baseball caps with the Muslim proclamation of faith emblazoned on them. The group's flags were also available for purchase. More potent offerings were available from a vendor in the dusty Panjway market, whose shop was decked with enormous Taliban flags and portraits of the group's top officials. They included assault weapons, such as AK-47 versions and M4 and M16 assault rifles made in the United States, as well as light machine guns. For years, the Taliban bought guns and ammunition on the underground market. According to UN and Western monitors, they also took weapons and equipment from the battlefield and abandoned military stations. The Taliban also benefited from the Afghan military's recent collapse, which provided them with an arms bonanza. Afghanistan's new rulers already have equipment and vehicles, including Humvees, armored personnel carriers, and at least one operational Black Hawk helicopter, in addition to a substantial haul of American-made infantry weapons. Similarly, the militants are making the most of their loot. The Taliban are profiting from a range of commodities that have been left behind at abandoned Afghan and Western military bases. They took Panjway District in July, as the U.S.-led force departure from Afghanistan accelerated. Everything from construction materials to metal trays rescued from the district's Afghan military base was for sale in the local market.